Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. If somebody watched my video about how to make a ruler and wanted to know how they could make it on like a curved item, I guess they could use a protractor and cut this in half type deal. And the only way I came up with, would, and I don't know what size it is, and it doesn't matter what size your circle is, but I made my circle 12 inches. And I actually... Uh, put some more decimal places so I'd get a more accurate uh, decimal and that's you go to tools uh, options and go to edit and right here I've got five decimal places which normally you don't need but I expanded that out and then I just took a a circle that's 12 inches and I went to a range and I converted it to a curve you have to convert it to a curve for this to work and then go to Windows, Dockers, Object Properties. And because you have it turned into a curve, you have this curved line right here. And it's going to tell you the length of this curve is 37.70439. That number right there. To us. So I took 360 degrees divided by 37.70439, and it equals... 9.5479 I, I went ahead and put it all the way out there to get it a little more accurate and we're going to use that number right there so I'm going to control I've got this stake in the center of the page and I just selected both of them and I hit T put it to the top then I'm going to take and I'm actually going to raise that up a little bit let's zoom in here I want to be able to see that number I want to raise this up. I'm going to hold down the control button and move that line up. So I'm going to hit that line. I'm going to or select that line. I'm going to control D. I'm going to make a duplicate of that line. I'm going to double click on it. And I'm going to move the rotation to the center. I'm going to move that rotation 9.54795.97 degrees. 9.54795. Five nine seven degrees. And I'm gonna hit enter. The way to check this, let's zoom in here a little bit more. Let's take our parallel dimension tool, and this is where you're gonna be marking from, and this is a straight line going across there, and you get one inch. So you would just do that, and if you wanted quarter of an inch, you'd have to you know play with it more. But if you wanted inches marks around a circle regardless of what you're going to do and this would be a pretty cool case if you held down the control button and made a line and hit p and put it in the center of the page you could actually delete this bottom part and then delete your outer two lines and you could have a an old school protractor with one inch marks on it Anyway, I hope that helped the person ask a question, and thank you for watching.